is the site of a bot flying who has laid its eggs into poor Alice Nugent here, who now has a very, very painful worm with a barbed head growing inside her. <laughs> Particularly at night, it raises its angry head. Is this a fairly common thing in Belize for people to get? In the bush, yes, it is. Very flies, so you, she probably picked it up in the bush. Yeah, probably over. It. Well, we that's probably funny. don't want to mention where you got yeah, it in case the tourist association might be a little offended. If you do that. But probably from um, an area where there's um, water and mosquitoes. Is that? They're born by. Can be born by mosquitoes. They're not born, they can carried by they, the eggs can be carried on the wings of other insects and also you can if you they can lay their eggs on in the on the bush that could um, brush up against so it's always good to make sure you oil up your skin before you go so into in other words, you the bush and don't have exposed areas you don't have to be bit it can just get onto your skin yes and then, then find its way right. yeah and how long have you had it there Alice do you think about two weeks Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a doctor fly, but it was not getting any better, and it was painful. It went from pain to itch, and back to pain. So what we're waiting for now is the proboscis. You see those two holes there, and we're trying to aggravate the worm a little bit so that it raises its head out of there, which is why I put the clay on to, to actually close both of the holes up. When it sticks its proboscis up, I'm going to put, apply more pressure and try and make it exit out. So the those are the, the, the holes that it breathes through, so it yes. has to breathe through something. Yes. See, the hole there came open. Can you feel it inside there, JJ? I can feel a lump, mm -hmm. but very often the lump is much larger at this stage than the worm. You generally don't feel that you've got one until three days after, and then it starts growing from there. All right, you see it coming up? See? See the proboscis? See it? Oh, yes. Coming? Yeah. There we go. I feel it. Ah, got him. Yep, there he is. I think I got him all. Now, would there likely only be one in there? Or could I there have taken several? as many as 20 something out of what? someone, so. In one spot? Yeah. Can you see? It's a worm? I want to yes. You can get up now. Oh, do you have it on the face? Yes. There he is. Can you see the barbs on his head? You can get, if you'd like to have a closer look at him, I've got the magnifying glass down there. You can. That little thing? Is yes. Like, almost see, looks like a little seed. Yes, and why he is so painful, he has barbs around the head, which is what makes him cling on to your flesh. Now that turned out to be a fairly painless way of doing it as opposed to the cigarette method which burns the skin around and smokes the worm out. So what we did was we covered the holes with bentonite clay which is a really good way of drawing out poisons from people's bodies and it also blocked up the hole so it, it aggravated that worm that he wanted to get out. So we've, you've taken one um, beef worm out. Yes. Which is the larva of the bot fly. Correct. And not to be confused with bottleless fly, which is a completely different thing. A bot fly is um, a different breed altogether. The bottleless fly is like a Canadian black fly, and then this is a larger insect. Right. So what I'm doing is covering up the hole. Make sure that there's not another one in there because I'm still feeling a lump, which could be the just the site of all the damage that the little worm has created in the skin but it's not unusual to find more than one in the same site. And what does the bentonite clay do? Well, bentonite clay is a really good healer. Um, it draws all kinds of um, things out of pores, you know, like poison. Um, you can actually buy food grade bentonite clay, which is good for any kind of chemical poisoning. This is mixed with water, and I usually keep some in the fridge already mixed for little you know, if you get thorn cuts or if you cut yourself with something like when you're cleaning fish or lobsters and you get um, a little spear on your hand from something, this is good to get the poison out. So we're going to leave it for a little bit and see if 
anything gets angry, angry in there, if you'll feel anything again, if you feel anything again, let me know. So we've got the, the wound here where the, um, the beef worm was taken out, and now what are you going to do? I'm going to clean around the area because we don't want anything to get any secondary infection because now it's a little bit open. See, it immediately bubbles up with the peroxide, which is good. And at the end of it, I'm going to put a little dab of um, Bacterban. And, and what is that that you're putting on now? Hydrogen peroxide. You could put that on all alcohol, but alcohol stings. So does this. Yes, <laughs> so does that, according What's, to What kind of alcohol? Rubbing alcohol. Well, if you wanted to part with your vodka, you could, but uh, <laughs> recommend the cheaper version, you know. At least if it's going to be vodka, it could be um, something, one of those lesser brands Make that sure we don't want to put inside us. Make sure it's Alice doesn't even want cheap vodka inside her. <laughs> no. So you're putting something else on now as the final stage? What's yes, that? it's antibiotic, it's Bactroban. But this will do two things, because since we're still unsure whether there might be something in there, this is not only um, putting an anti topical antibiotic on the site of where we've just operated, it's also closing off any holes that are there. If there's something else in there, there should be a response from within, from that next, huh, next little um, visitor. But I don't think there's anything in there at the moment, which, but Alice will know. If and you said this is called Batroban. How ba do you spell Bactroban. that? Batroban. It's just like Neosporin, but um, it's it's an antibiotic, um, tri like a triple antibiotic. Um, it's generally the antibiotic of topical antibiotic of choice, is it tends not to have side effects. Well, I, I don't know whether the company's going to sue me here for. <laughs> <laughs> but any typical yeah. neosporin, polysporin, um, bactroban, they're all in that triple antibiotic range. Yes, that's yeah. what I put on the other one. Mm -hmm.